our Spooky Spot series continues tonight. Yeah, on this stop, ABC 13's Kelsey Childress ventured off to Bedford County with Noreen Turin, where they tested their luck on the Trail of Terror. Few things are scarier than the woods at night. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. Some. And in these woods, <laughs> your biggest fears come to life. I think that all humans have this natural fear of walking into the woods at nighttime. Um, it's just part of our, you know, DNA. Ben Lamora is the director of the Trail of Terror in Goud. It used to be spectacular, spooky trail walk, but this year they're upping the ante. We decided to amp it up. I know we got a lot of competition, so we're trying to get it to where it feels like that there's, you know, a real good energy in there and really build it up. So we didn't want to just be just jump scares. We want to kind of throw in a little extra there and there. If you dare to test out this trail, your mind will play tricks on you. You think this person could be that or that person could be that, and that really gives you that fear of looking around, then one of them comes at you, it really can spook you. Lamora says that psychological effect makes the haunt special. Your mind's like, where? who's that? You know, who's that? Which one is it? So Noreen Turn and I decided to put our courage to the test. Yeah. Do you want to go first? And trek into the trail of terror. I think we're being tricked into oh, yeah, comfort you, right now. Into comfort? Like to I do not okay feel comfortable. So the deeper you get in these woods, the more your mind races. This is like the most anxious thing you could do. We quickly found out why we were anxious. <laughs> the noises in the night. What's that? Oh, that sounds demented. Yes, it does. It's a dead little girl. <laughs> Fueling our fear. <laughs> In these woods, everything puts you on edge. <laughs> Every time you fall, I keep thinking scares I'm me. hearing something. <laughs> and you need to stay alert, or you may miss something. <laughs> Where did that? Oh my gosh! Oh my God. I didn't even see him. The journey will mess with your mind. Is that real? Uh huh. Yeah. No! Oh my gosh, I almost just peed myself. That was, <laughs> I did not think that was real. More than just once. Oh, no, you, I don't know, I just looked They're at it. They're absolutely alive. One of these is real. I know. Oh. That's not the one that I thought was real. Oh my gosh. But in the end, we faced our fears <laughs> and made it out of the trail. But can you do the same? <laughs> Reporting in Bedford. Kelsey Childress, ABC 13 News. <laughs> she, that's great. It's one of a kind from Chelsea. That's in good, and you could probably hear it in Danville, I think. <laughs> probably, or even across the line. Oh, so fun. <laughs> if you're not a fan of haunted attractions like Kelsey and Noreen, they do what's called an early walk. It starts at 5 o'clock, and you can walk through the trail and look at the decorations without <laughs> any of those scares. Who wants that? They also have a trunk or treat event at the farm on Halloween night. As for what's next for Kelsey, well, she'll visit a brand new haunt in Pulaski County with one extra special guest. Ooh, who will it be this that, time? Is that you? I don't, I don't think, no. Oh, it's not me. That's coming up Thursday night at 6.